now. First alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Hey, you want to see a great shot? Take a look at the sun setting behind the Adirondacks. How fantastic is that looking from Burlington over Lake Champlain right across the lake on a brisk day? 27 degrees. The wind northwest at 17. We've got gusts in the 20s. It certainly feels colder than 27 degrees out there. Some other temperatures. We've got a 27 in Plattsburgh doing a 19 right now. Saranac Lake, some 30s as you head on down to the south. This is the warm corridor right on down toward Keene, looking at 34 degrees right now. I want to talk about the temperature trend here. Temperature is obviously going to be going down tonight. The wind not as strong as it was earlier and the wind slowly but surely is going to be pulling back. So you can see See how we're going down to about 10 degrees or so near Lake Champlain. I think you get away from the lake, it's going to be a little bit colder than that. And you can see as we look ahead how the wind is going to pull back. Looking at future wind gusts, 730 tonight, still in the 20s, many of us here. And we'll take you up to midnight or so and the wind not quite as stiff. And then it becomes even less strong as we head through the overnight and into tomorrow. But I've got to give you a heads up. While things are going to be fine during the day on Friday, it looks like late Friday night into Saturday, the wind is going to pick up again. This you're going to want to know. We're looking at future cast wind chills. This is Friday night at 7 o'clock. OK, not too bad. We'll take you through the overnight. The wind is picking up. The temperatures are going down. It's going to feel like it's 20 below in the Champlain Valley and for many outside the valley, even colder than that. And through the day, while it's not going to feel quite as nasty as first thing in the morning, it's still going to feel really cold. That's on Saturday. Sunday is not going to be nearly as brutal. We're looking at Storm Tracker here. We had some snow showers out there, even squalls, really some whiteouts. Heard from some people widen out here, not white out, but widen out. We've got some lake effect snow. It's amazing. Of course, the Great Lakes never really did freeze. Now the day planner for tomorrow, it's going to be a partly sunny day. We start at about 10 degrees, partly sunny throughout. It's going to be nice, but it's going to be chilly. High temperature only 23 degrees. So here's future cast. We take you right through the overnight. And here comes your Friday. Friday is going to be a pretty nice day. Partly sunny, highest of elevations, maybe a couple of snow showers. But I think in the valley we're going to be good. Tomorrow night, again, best chances for a couple of snow showers will be at the highest of elevations. Here comes Saturday. It's going to be a pretty darn breezy, if not a windy day. So be aware that the wind chills are going to be pretty brutal. That night things improve as we get you into Sunday. That's going to be a nice day with high pressure right overhead and a ton of sun. Partly cloudy tonight, less wind as the night goes along. We will take it 10 for a low tomorrow. Partly sunny highs in the teens in the Adirondacks, 23 degrees in Plattsburgh. And we're thinking about 23 in Burlington as well. Morrisville, partly sunny, 21 Woodsville at 23 degrees. It is going to be partly sunny in Littleton at 23. How about a 31 in Windsor? And again, a partly sunny day. Northwest winds not quite as strong as today, though. 31 in Wilmington, Rutland topping out at 27 degrees. Here comes your five day forecast, everybody. 23 tomorrow, then the wind picking up later tomorrow night and into Saturday when it's going to be a breezy day. 17, that's it for a high, then a whopping mid 20s on Sunday and less wind for sure. That's going to be a nice day. Clouds start to roll in on Monday and it gets warmer. 44 degrees, some rain showers, and probably a fairly strong south wind on Tuesday. 50 degrees, rain changing over to snow. On Wednesday, that'll be interesting. Temperatures dropping and then on Thursday, expect to see more clouds than sunshine with a high of 37 degrees. So